Hi guys, my name is Curse Shadow Dogs the Bomb, but built for theme park news, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're gonna to be discussing Silverwood theme park because we've got a brand new teaser from them uh, surrounding their 2021 attraction. And we're going to be sharing my thoughts on the teaser. It looks like we've got possibly a location or some kind of idea where it's going to be located. And um, yeah, we're going to be sharing all the all the information with, with you guys. Obviously, you know, I share my predictions uh, in the first video we did on this. Uh, and I share my predictions on how or what I thought the coaster would look like, what it could be, what kind of attraction it could be. I think I, I said, you know, water slide. I think that won't be the case now. I think with all the teasers surround with the teaser this time surrounding the dry park, I think it's very much if we didn't know already it was going to be a theme park attraction. Um and obviously the last thing they teased was of course, you know, there was an event that was going to happen uh, this year. Uh, there was also Riptide Races, which is of course in the water park that was open uh, just a few years ago. Uh, but nothing for the dry park for, you know, a lot of years. No real coaster for seven years, realistically. In terms of thrill coasters though, we haven't had one past seven years. So, you know, it's very, very, you know, it, it would be great to have a new coaster. So, uh, we we'll have a look at the teaser. Share the social media image and uh, share my thoughts on all of that. So before we get started guys, make sure you like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe to the channel for more. Click the notification bell so you never miss another video. Uh, make sure you also subscribe in the description down below to my Instagram, Snapchat, uh, Twitter, TikTok. And of course my second channel for sports journalism. So uh, yeah, out spreading the channel here. So uh, both channels are linked to what I'm doing. Uh, and for now guys, let's get into talking about Silverwood theme parks. Let's start off with the image in question that has been released by the park. So the teaser from Silverwood theme park reads, This view is going to look a lot different next year. New fun coming in 2021. Now of course, that's a nice skyline shot of the park. But my opinion on that is it could give some potential clues away. To the location of their attraction and I've got a few ideas as to what it could be looking at the location right about now. So there we go that is looking then at the latest teaser from Silverwood theme park uh, again not a lot of information to talk about because of course it's just the teaser itself but what I am going to say is and you know I can sort of you know um, sort of run down my predictions as to what it could be um, there's a couple of good, decent coaster options that they could invest into the park invo involved in terms of budget. Obviously, it'd be the first coaster in seven years, of course, since the, the crazy coaster in 2014, which is their uh, family spinner from SBF Visa. Um, but there's a couple of types of roller coasters that I've got my eye on, potentially it could be. Uh, one of them I mentioned in the previous video, I believe, which was an RMC Raptor, a custom model. And another one. Now, this one is something like a Max Force, an SNS compressed air launch roller coaster. Now, I could be wrong. I could be completely and utterly wrong with that prediction. But I was looking on Google Earth. I was looking on the maps and stuff like that at the site where the teaser was set, where the location sort of outspreads itself on. And you could fit like a nice out and back, you know. Compressed air launch coaster, like yeah, you know, like a Max Force. You know, you got to look at Six Flags Great America. What they did to put in Max Force, they removed what their theatre, and they sort of weave the layout around that space. So, you know, you don't need a lot to work with that site. You just need space to put in the trap layout, but you also just need uh, like a building space or something to put the station in. They get get the queue line weaving through um, near the entrance of the building. And, you know, you've got yourself a compressed air launch coaster. And, of course, they're probably going to do a custom model. Uh, whatever kind of coaster they go for, they are going to probably do a custom model. Um, I think I mentioned the Ghost Star Infinity in the last video. Um, maybe they won't go with that. I don't think maybe they'll go with a hang time at Knott's Berry Farm type coaster. Maybe we're looking here at an RMC Raptor or, um, you know, this this launch coaster from SNS. They could go with an Axis coaster. They could go with the, the world's first one, make it a good, um, you know, world's first coaster at the park. Uh, and that would be a great way to celebrate the first coaster in seven years at the park. Um, someone actually commented on the previous video, I think a couple of people said on the previous video, a ground-up RMC. So not the, the Raptor track, but maybe like the, the iBox track, like Zadra, Energylandia. Um, and there's plenty more examples elsewhere. But... 
you know, the ground up RMC. And to be fair, I wouldn't exactly rule that out. I, I wouldn't rule it out. And to be fair, not even just RMC and one of the current wooden ghosters. Um, you know, potentially, you know, a ground up RMC from scratch would be a good fit for the park. And I think it'd be a good addition to the park. But it'd be interesting to see what kind of addition they actually go for. Obviously, I can't definitive my predictions just yet because there's not enough there to actually give away what's going on. Which, to be fair, is very, very clever very early on from Silverwood. They're not just like, you know, teasing it and, you know, we know what it is right from the beginning. They're actually, you know, doing it in steps. But I definitely think that from the from the sounds of the teaser, the view's going to look a lot different this uh, next year, fun in 2021. Um, I think it's very, very clear that, number one, it's going to be a very tall ride. Number two, it's 95% going to be a coaster because, let's face it, there's not a lot of non-coaster tall rides they could invest in. I mean, they could go with the like a massive skyscraper type ride, but again, that's not really going to be, uh, in my opinion, a good investment. Uh, they've already got a drop tower at the park, so there's not really any options. So, you know, the only tall option it could be is a roller coaster. Now, um, that would be a great investment, obviously first coaster in seven years. I think it's very, very clear it's going to be a thrill coaster. I think if, if it is going to be a coaster, it, it will be a thrill one uh, for the first time uh, past 2014. Uh, so past the seven year gap. So, you know, I think it'd be really good to see a thrill coaster at the park again. I think that Silverwood does need another thrill coaster to sort of, you know, keep up with the times of investment with the new technology. Uh, like I said, an Axis coaster wouldn't be a bad investment. An SNS Compressed Air Launch coaster like Max Force wouldn't be a bad investment. The Raptor wouldn't be a bad investment. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see what goes on. We'll have to wait for, you know, more tees. I mean, it seems like this one this one come out about a week after the first one. So it looks like we could be looking at weekly teasers here from Silverwood. So uh, it's going to be very exciting to see what's going to happen with this. So there we go. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this Theme Park Newsroom update. We've got plenty of news updates to come over the next few days. We've got an update from Toverland Halloween, which we uploaded earlier. So make sure you go and check that out. And uh, make sure you go check out the second channel as well. Links in the description down below for that because I have been uploading like crazy on there at the minute. So uh, make sure you go check that out. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Snapchat. I'll upload loads on Instagram, some on Twitter. And of course my brand new TikTok. Uh, I, put, I usually do like two videos a day. So, uh, you know, and it's just me prying around being myself and stuff like that. So uh, nothing too exciting. But if you like that stuff, then please go and follow the TikTok link in the description down below. And for now, guys, thank you so, so much for watching this Theme Park Newsroom update. Like I said, go and watch the Toverland one. And I'll see you guys for another update tomorrow. But for now, guys, my name is Coach Shadongster Born, but built for Theme Park News. Keep living the coast alive. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.